Despite all the efforts to save the few remaining sharks, it was reported today that after a month out at sea, the last longliner sailed into an undisclosed harbor without one single shark in its cargo hold. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service announced that in the next coming months there will be a full report on what could be the extinction of all known shark species from our oceans. There's always been a controversy regarding sharks, a love and hate relationship. Some call them ruthless killers, others a masterpiece of evolution. As the news spread around the world, large crowds gathered waiting for the outcome. But there was mixed feelings. To some, it was a real tragedy for our oceans, while others actually celebrated it. After all, they said, aren't sharks dangerous to man? The beast is dead. The television said. The beast is dead. All the headlines are red. The beast is dead. No more need to be afraid. But I hung my head and cried. The beast is dead. Come like a Hollywood star. The beast is dead. The celebration was down at the local bar. The beast is dead. No more need to be afraid. But I hung my head and cried. So how did we come to this? We've searched our archives and found some interesting thoughts from well-known filmmakers, photographers, artists, and scientists on the consequences of the loss of apex predatory sharks from our oceans. This is what they had to say back then. Oh, no more shopping soon. 
Personally, I don't like it, so I think they, number one, have weird taste, and it's just not good. Something that is in the ocean, it affects everything. 